and I got on my knees. I don't remember. They came and they prayed over me. The pastor spoke. The message that he had, I don't remember, but I didn't like it because it, hit, it was hitting nerves. Amen. He was speaking to me, Amen. and I didn't like it. Amen. So I got mad. I said, you told the pastor, you told the pastor my business, this and that. I was so pissed off. So to speak. Yeah. <laughs> so when I left, she tells me, you want to come tomorrow? It was on a Friday night. She said, you want to come tomorrow? They got a men's breakfast. I don't want nothing to do with you people. I don't want nothing to do with this church. Oh, uh, you people, a bunch of, you know, hypocrites is what I used. <laughs> and she said, they have a free buffet breakfast. <laughs> what? The operative word. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, okay. <laughs> and I came in, I said the salvation prayer. And from that day on, from that day when I walked out of here, there was this peace. This calm mm -hmm. that came over me that I couldn't explain. That I couldn't explain. And I said to her when I walked out, when I got halfway out of here, I said that this God that you say is real, it's real. He will help me. If he can't help me, I know he don't exist. She asked me to stay. She told me to go to Chin Town. I didn't want to go to Chin Town. I don't want no help. I just want to help from God. <laughs> Because I wanted to see if God was real. Amen. I understand that. Been so there. she said, You could stay in my place. She prayed for me. I was going through withdrawals. I didn't know how to pray. All I know how to say was, God, please help me. <laughs> so As I said, God, please help me. Minute after minute, day after day. Anyway, to get from the day that I came here to next month, the 28th will make six years. Praise, Praise the Lord, Lord. Lord. And oh. if you would have told me that I would have been clean, that I would have been serving the Lord, mm -hmm. that he would have gave my own place, oh, Time that he would have placed me, a man that cannot be trusted, a man that couldn't be trusted, he gave me a job here. He gave me the keys to open up this place to serve him. And now he had put us both in a position that we have our own place, our own home. If you would have told me that Crazy. six years ago, I would have told you he was a liar. I wouldn't believe it. <laughs> and, and Vincent, there's one more thing. When God blesses, he blesses royally. Amen. What's in the backyard, Vince? Uh, uh, the, um, and ground pool. Woo! <laughs> yeah. and pool. Uh, we need the address. We need the address. This boy yeah. has a pool too. Uh, and yeah. ground pool. We was we was had our apartment was very small, very small. It's okay. He gave us an in ground pool, and he gave us a three car garage. Wow! Fantastic. Praise the Lord. Lord have mercy. And I and you know what? I want to thank God for everything, and I pray for everyone here. Thank you. I pray for one. I want to thank the Lord that He may touch every single person here. Yeah. And their children thank you, more Lord. than he has blessed me. Thank you, Lord. I thank, thank you, Lord, because your people are faithful, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And you are faithful to your people, Lord. To your servant, Father God. Thank you, Lord. And I thank you, Lord, because I know you will bless your people. They are so faithful. You look at the little. And the little, you rise up. The things that are nothing to man, you rise up for your glory, Father God. And I thank you.